Hello, Nina here. Welcome to a initial video of mine. In this video, it is quite different from the rest of my videos. In this video though, I want to share with you guys how to animate on Krita, which totally not asked from someone a year ago. If you didn't know what Krita is, Krita is um, an art software, which is also pretty much what I use to animate my characters with. Like here are the examples of it. Which is good because if you are like me who is broke and can't afford those softwares that are out of your budget then Krita might be the best free choice of software where you can start to practice animation with or even create a full animation. So without further ado, let's get to the tutorial. So first, open your Krita and you can uh, open a new file here by clicking this and you can choose the size of your canvas by changing the numbers right here for my videos or animation videos i always have the size of my canvas 1920 then 1080 this gives my videos a more high quality so when you open krita you are greeted by this kind of setup okay so to start animating you need an animation timeline it is where your animation occurs either that is a frame by frame animation or even a twinned animation so go to setting dockers and then click animation timeline and this thing will supposed to pop up on your screen to create the first frame for your animation simply right click the very first box here and click create blank frame if you can see the box being highlighted like this then that means that you are ready to start drawing in the canvas for my line art I select the ink to fine liner which is this brush right here so the animation example that we're going to use today is the same old bouncing ball it is mostly used for beginners though so draw a circle or even an oval, whatever your preference is, at least it jumps. So now that I had drew a circle on the first frame, you might notice that the first frame is now solid. That means that this frame is not empty. Now to create another frame, you repeat what you did to the first frame. Select the second frame, right click again, and then click create blank. Now you have another empty frame to draw on. To activate the onion skin, or where you can see the drawing you did in the fr previous frame, move your mouse to the layers area and click on this light bulb thingy. When you click that, it will light up like this. To adjust the opacity of it, simply click on this onion shape symbol right here, and this thing on the left will pop up. You can adjust it however you like. Okay, so now that we see what we drew in the previous frame, Let's draw the second animation for the bouncing ball. And just like that, you now have two frames. Okay, now that that is done, the bouncing ball is still not yet complete. We still have to draw the next frames to really create the bouncing ball. So let's draw that right now. The thing about animation is that when creating an animation, it's just repeat, draw and repeat, but you add twists in every progress. Okay, now that the first half is done, let's play to see if there are weird shenanigans in the first frames. And to adjust the frame rate, you go to the three bars right here next to the onion and you can adjust the setting however you like but I mostly have it at 10 frame rate now the next thing that I have to do is copy and paste the frames now what do I mean by that? you see I'm a lazy person and I know that you are too so I don't want to draw next to frames where the ball goes down again because I know that it is already here so I select the frame next to the last frame 
So to copy it, right click again, but this time, click on copy frame. Now we go to the last frame and paste it. Right click and paste frames. Now you have the same copy. I repeat that to the other frames until the first frame that I had drawn on. Ta-da! It is now finished. The bouncy ball is finally bouncing. Perfecto! You can also add colors. Just add a layer and put that under the line art layer and repeat the process again. Just right click create blank frame and then start putting colors using the bucket frame. And that is how you animate on Krita. It's nothing that too complicated. You really have to get used to it first so that you can master it. And then the more you animate on it, the more you know tricks you can use. So yeah, that's the tutorial that I did for the Krita. <laughs> um, I hope that that was uh, um, a bit understandable because my English is real broken. Um, this is my first time doing a tutorial so I don't really know how to explain it but I hope that this could help and I hope to maybe see you guys in another tutorial video